So most windows will block UVB rays from getting through, but what about UVA? Remember that UVA light is what's responsible for prematurely aging your skin, as well as contributing to the long-term effects of chronic UV damage to your skin. So how much UVA blockage are you getting? Let's talk car windows first. One of my favorite studies was done back in 2016 by an ophthalmologist out in California who actually went to different cars and tested how much UVA was getting through the windows. He actually found that through front windshields, there was a good amount of UVA blockage over 90% in many cases. However, it was the side windows that struggled. He actually found that the UVA blockage through side windows could be as low as 71%. So what does that mean for your skin? The conclusion of his study was that, well, there is a left-sidedness to skin cancer and a left-sidedness to cataracts, which is why he studied it in the first place. So we do know that you are not getting adequate UVA blockage through your car window, especially the side window, which means that while you're driving, while you're sitting in traffic, you really need to be wearing broad spectrum UV coverage. And we need you to be wearing sunscreens that respect how much UVA blockage you're getting. We want to make sure that the sunscreens that you choose have adequate UVA coverage. Looking for the words broad spectrum may not be enough because it doesn't tell you how much UVA blockage you're getting. It might be worth looking for sunscreens that have at least a zinc concentration of 5% or an avobenzone concentration of 3%. Some studies have suggested that having this concentration of either of these ingredients should allow you to have a good amount of UVA blockage. This just demonstrates again that even though windows might be adequate to block a sunburn, they may not be adequate to prevent UVA exposure. And the impact of premature aging of your skin or, or discoloration to your skin all of the challenges that we see every day in the office and all of the challenges that that skincare market out there is targeting. If you took the measures to prevent that exposure from occurring in the first place, you wouldn't fall victim to all of the marketing that's geared towards your eyes, which is trying to treat and address the signs of UVA exposure.